I want to continue my videos on trap cleaning. And in this video, I want to discuss with you how to get oil off new traps or off of uh, extension cables or your snares, uh, things like that. I have seen recently a lot of comments on asking on trapping forms, how do you remove the oil off of uh, snare cables or off of extension cables or even off of traps? And a lot are looking at using uh, baking soda and water, boiling it, and there is an easier way to do this than using water and baking soda. That way is in a purple jug. It's called Super Clean, and you can buy it at your local Walmart store. Here's uh, what I'm talking about. It's called Super Clean. You don't need to heat it up. It's a cold solution. You can put it into, again, five-gallon bucket, and then just... Put your traps in, uh, your snare cables, your extension cables, whatever you're trying to get the grease to come off of. Now here's some Blyle 120 Kona Bear body grip style traps, traps. Brand new. And as your extension cables or snares, uh, traps you buy, have a oil coating on them, grease coating, to keep them from rusting. With the Blyles, they use a cable on theirs instead of a chain, like so many other body grip traps have on them. So, what I'm going to show you here is going to be the same as you can see how shiny the cable is. Looks brand new, it's real shiny, sticks out like a sore thumb. Also on the traps, they have a coating on them. You take, you wipe your finger, and you got that grease on there, oil. And you want to get that off before you dye your traps, paint them, whatever you're going, however you're going to uh, protect your traps while trapping. I have some of my Body Grip Blyles traps in the Super Clean Solution. And I'm going to show you uh, what I do when I take the traps out of there, I just rinse them off in clean water. And uh, then we'll show you that there's no grease on those traps. Now what I use is, I got this bucket at Home Depot. And I got the lid unit for that goes on the five gallon buckets. And these just screw on and off. Okay, get out one of the traps. Here's the trap. And then all I do is I put it into a bucket of clean water. Work it up and down a few times to get that degreaser off. There you can see that it even dulls the cable compared to what the one that I didn't degrease yet was showing. The cable isn't that shiny. Uh, looking cable that you have. Then I just hang them up and leave them uh, air dry and then we'll show you uh, one here that's dry and uh, that there's no grease on them then. So after they air dry here's what the cable looks like and you know it was nice and shiny before it has a dull look to it now and so forth and it'll take your uh, logwood dye, uh, trap dip type of dye, or even painting a lot better with that oil removed from them. And the same way goes for the traps. You don't have the grease on that trap now. So I'm hoping that you get some use out of using this super clean Instead of worrying about using baking soda, boiling water, 
whereas this will remove the oil and grease and not affect those cables. Thanks for watching our this video on how to remove the oil from new traps. If you liked it, please subscribe by hitting the round icon button here and you won't miss any of our videos. Also, if you haven't already watched them, please watch uh, Vinegar Removes Trap Rust Fast here if you bought traps that were really rusty or if you had traps with uh, dye and wax on. Remove your dye and wax off of traps. How to here.